Hello everyone, today I would like to share a diagnostically challenging case on tooth number 31. As you can see by the crosshair that I located, number 31 has been endodontically treated. And I want to go over uh, some features that I think some of you may, may find interesting. Typically, I like to assess um, just about any um, any volume in the axial view first. In this case, perhaps you'd appreciate the visualization in the sagittal view as you may be more familiar with this particular uh, orientation. But for the time being, let's go ahead and take a look at the axial view. So let me um, focus on the axial and why don't I start from the coronal portion of the crown and move down toward the apex. And just to help you get oriented, we're looking at the mesial root and the distal root and immediately you can start to see very highly radio-opaque entities consistent with endodontic filling material within the mesial buccal, mesial lingual, and the distal canal. So let's go ahead and try to follow along the filling material as best as we can. So we're at the APCs now. Let me go back up. Are you guys seeing anything interesting or anything unusual that you're asking yourself at this point? As you're following down the roots, you will notice or you may notice that these filling materials, they actually merge with one another at about the mid root level and we're going down as we continue to go down toward the apex, we see this a separate radio opacity that's along the border of the distal border of the mesial root and perhaps located outside of the root surface. And it is unclear from this view how this material ended up where it is now. It's not like we have a canal that is exiting laterally or a definitive perforation where we can trace where this material is coming from but what we're seeing is a very a completely separated radio opacity from the main canal so now let's take a look at this in our sagittal section Okay, so again, we see that separated or extruded endodontic filling material, unable to exactly trace how and where it came from this main canal. But from this view, it should be pretty clear to all of us that indeed this is located outside of the uh, root surface. Another thing that's interesting is there is a thin layer of radial opacity that has a density of bone or the root surface or dentin, excuse me, surrounding this radial opacity. Last but not least, let's go ahead and look at our coronal view. Here you're seeing the coronal section through the mesial root demonstrating how these two canals come together and exit at the apex through a single foramen and Moving to the distal root, you can clearly visualize a single canal that ex uh, with filled with filling material that extends to just a little bit short from the apex. Okay, so the question is, 
what is this? I think it's fairly clear that this is filling material given the same radio density we see uh, with the uh, endodontic material presuming that this has got a percha or sealant so how did it get there? what happened? obviously I don't know the full surgical or dental history in this case but another feature that I did not point out but many of you have noticed is that we have a lot of bone loss along the mesial root involving the forcational bone right here shows you a very very severe bone loss along the mesial root pretty much it starts from the forcation forcational region extends all the way down to the root apex you can see that in the axial view as well so this is the forcation as I go down you're starting to see this radiolucency which extends all the way to the apex okay so we have a lot of bone, lo uh, bone loss uh, extruded or separated filling material um, so what do you think? What, what are some possible clinical scenarios? one possibility is you may have you may have had perforation, root perforation from um, endodontic treatment and um, and that perforation may have led to this uh, bone loss another po possibility is that there may be a lateral canal or an accessory canal that we are not really seeing and that canal is unfilled hence we can have uh, lateral radicular periodontitis uh, another possibility is you may have a root fracture involving the mesial root given its very classic J-shaped bone loss so those are some some of the possibilities that we can um, we can think about obviously the operator, whoever uh, did this root canal therapy, may have a better idea as to what exactly happened during the procedure. But uh, whenever we see radiolucency that's not cent centered around the apex, those three mentioned options are something that you always want to think about. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.